What's going on YouTube sniping for Dom fans and all you big big sexy supporters My name is Derek or my gamer tag alias is sniping for Dom How the hell are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another food review video. It's Thursday and you know what the fuck that means? YouTube upload day. What's going on guys? So uh, today's video I'm kind of looking forward to, but not because of the reviews that I've seen. This has been highly requested by a few of you people out there. Um, thank you, by the way, for all the love that's been happening on these food reviews. I never in a million worlds thought that people would enjoy this. I'm known for gaming content. By the way, shout out to my Twitch community at 97,000 followers where you can find us live every day besides Thursdays. So today we are doing Guy Fieri's Flavor Town Kitchen. Everybody should know who Guy Fieri is. If you've watched Diners, Dive-Ins, and Drives, you've seen him on a lot of cooking shows on TV. Um, he's world renowned for cooking. So today we're going to give his ghost kitchen a shot. If you're not really up to date with what ghost kitchens are, it's kind of like the Mr. Beast thing and a few other places. These are shaping the food industry. Doesn't mean that they're great. It just is starting to take over the world. It's keeping people in business. So basically what a ghost kitchen is, is they put these kitchens in other already established restaurants and then they make the food for them and send out via uber eats postmates grubhub and the rest of them that are out there in the world flavor town kitchen is a delivery only restaurant featuring real deal flavors from chef guy fieri from his signature bourbon brown sugar barbecue wings to the award-winning mac and cheeseburger, all of Flavor Town's favorite comes straight to your doorstep. So we put in the order with uh, Uber Eats. It's kind of expensive. Um, and in my opinion, maybe the food's worth it. I don't know. I've seen a lot of really bad reviews on this, but I've heard from a few people that the food is actually pretty damn good. So we're gonna judge it. We do a no bullshit scale around here. As I've said before, I don't do paid placements with these food reviews. It's just helping you guys know what's good, what to spend your money on. So I got two things off of the menu. I got the cheesesteak egg rolls, and you know I had to try the chicken sandwich. The burger sounds great. Like they really do have some decent burgers. They sound very tasty. It's just tonight's date night with me and my girlfriend and she wants to go out for burgers. So I'm not gonna do the double burger thing. So we're just waiting on the Uber guy to drop off the food and then we're gonna get this review done. Don't forget to smack that like button. Leave me a comment down below if you've tried it or what maybe your favorite ghost kitchen is and then maybe I'll do a review on that next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I love you guys. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, we are back and it's time. So this is what the bag looks like. A nice little paper bag, got the logo sticker on top of that. It's beautiful here in Ohio today, so the Uber driver is in a good mood. Let's get right into the food. So I still, you know, I've been thinking, I've been doing a little bit more reviews and stuff, um, looking up to see the bad reviews and why it was bad and stuff like that you know i'm wondering if sometimes these are people's first jesus this is heavy yo the boxes look dope the boxes look dope this must be the egg rolls how fucking cool does that look huh and then this must be the sandwich oh you could i didn't see i didn't see an option it shows you sauces right there. I would have definitely put some sauces on here. Huh. Okay. So this is, I'm super excited to try these first. The, uh, the egg rolls. I love egg rolls of any sorts, especially if they're fucking cheese. Wow. Okay. They look super good. They smell great. It looks like there's a, uh, can you see it? There we go. 
Looks like there's two sauces in here. Maybe one's a honey mustard. Maybe a cheese sauce. Like a very watery cheese sauce. And then the other one is a sriracha ketchup, which I am extremely excited to try. All right, so you know we got to just go straight in for it. I don't know if this is powdered sugar. Oh, it's Parmesan cheese on top. So... Let's try one bite without without the sauce. Um, mm, that sriracha may, or sriracha ketchup is fire. All right, you know we got to get that fucking close up. Mmm. Very creamy, extremely creamy. Um, ton of cheese, tiny. It's a soft crunch. It's not like a crunchy crunch. What I would I would like a little bit more crunch to it. The beef, is good. Not as seasoned as what I thought it was gonna be. We had to dip this in some of this sriracha. Ketchup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, that's the money maker. That's good. Mm. And now we're gonna try whatever the hell this is. It's extremely runny. I have no idea what this is. It's a very runny cheese sauce. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Hmm. All right. So before we do the chicken sandwich, I'm going to go ahead and get this rating out of the way would i order these again if i was drunk and you know wanted an egg roll that wasn't a normal egg roll yeah is it fantastic no it's good it's not it's not trash i would say i would go 6.9 on the egg rolls, the Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. It's good. It's not terrible in any way, shape, or form. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. Um, but luckily, it doesn't feel like I've wasted my money that much. It was $30 for, for these. Two items for a chicken sandwich and three of the egg rolls. $30. Um, little upscale. Now, if you're paying for an experience to go in one of his actual kitchens and he's in there or you know cooking and stuff yeah it would probably be worth the experience um oh this thing is looking nice boys this is a big look wow this is a big sandwich by the way we need to go ahead and get the uh thumbnail out of the way so let's do this Let's see. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be the thumbnail or not, but you got to get these up here. All right, let's get that done. So let's see what's underneath the hood on this. Uh, brioche bun, very soft. Uh, they have some kind of special sauce on there. It doesn't look like straight mayonnaise. Uh, the tomato looks limp as shit. Some lettuce. Chicken smells great. This wasn't specified as Nashville, uh, but it looks more of like a spicy chicken, but it doesn't say that it's a spicy chicken. All right, here we go.
Okay. Um, that sauce is like a, like kind of like a tiny sweet tangy sauce, but not too tangy. Um, there is cheese on it. It looks like Colby cheese. The chicken is super, super juicy. Great white meat, thick. I think it's lacking season as well. And he's the mayor of Flavortown. It's good. It, it's it's good. I would definitely get this again. Um, I would probably go, you know, to Popeye's or somewhere else that's pulling out with all the chicken wars going on. Um, but it's good. It's it's not bad, bad. I'm just disappointed that I spent $30 on two items. The sandwich, I'm going to have to say I'd give it a... Uh, A 7.2. There's the review, guys. I hope you guys leave a comment down below. I always reply back to all you guys. If there's something you want to see me review soon, leave it down there. And maybe, you know, if I haven't done it or haven't thought of doing it yet, we'll get to it and take care of it for you. You guys have a kick-ass day. I'll see you next Thursday on YouTube Upload Day.